All right, so yesterday in the morning around 5 a.m., the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, ordered Russian troops into Ukrainian territory. All right, so we can now confirm that there is an ongoing crisis in the Russian-Ukrainian region in Eastern Europe right now. So a lot of people have been asking, so is this safe for the students that are studying in Russia and Ukraine? They are asking, if is, is this safe for the students that want to come into Russia or Ukraine? And there, there are a lot of other questions that we are going to be answering today. So we are not picking any side in the conflicts. I am not Russian. We are not Ukrainians. We are just going to be answering your questions. So we are just going to be answering answering your questions which are uh, foreign students studying in Russia or Ukraine going to be safe or uh, um, maybe university is going to be bombed uh, you know people generally safe to travel to Russia or Ukraine these are only the questions we're going to be answering for now I am not picking any side in this conflict I don't know who is wrong I don't know who is right I don't even, even know the history of Russia or the history of Ukraine we are Nigerians foreign students studying in Russia and we're going to tell you what we know so the first question people are going to be asking is that uh, students studying in Ukraine and Russia are going to be safe firstly the crisis is not happening in Russia presently Russian troops are in Ukrainian soil so there is no crisis in Russia students in Russia are completely safe I can also say the same thing for students in Ukraine also because um, in war you don't target uh, civilian populations there yeah, Russia has already announced that they are going to be targeting only military bases so if you are living as a civilian if you are living in a university then you are only going to be completely safe I can guarantee that at least for now and right now at least about four airports have already been bombed by the Russian military countries are already making plans to evacuate their students I know of India India has made plans to evacuate their students Nigeria as a country is already making plans to evacuate their students very soon so if you are afraid of war afraid of the crisis you can travel home with these arrangements that are being made by embassies in ukraine to take their citizens home so for the people asking if universities are going to be bombed or maybe hotels are going to be bombed uh, according to modern warfare there are uh, rules of uh, you know rules of engagement and uh, when you are fighting you only fight military bases you only fight the military and you avoid completely um, civilian and um, buildings like hospitals and the uh, refugee camps and the uh, universities and all of that you will do very well to know that universities are one of the most preserved institutions in the whole world even when there is a war universities are completely avoided there are universities presently that have survived about uh, 1000 or more years of uh, wars of humanity and all of that i know of a university i think it's oxford right that has been over 700 years and there has been wars all over england and everything england has been conquered stuff like that has happened but these universities are completely preserved no i mean in these senses we touch a student if no matter what crisis they are so in the even in the worst of crisis people still go to school the universities are going to be open the universities are not political institutions the universities are educational institutions they are going to be open and they would continue running so if you want to come to school in the russia right now your admission everything runs properly everything is all right and uh, russia is not the first uh, country to send uh, its troops into foreign soil i remember the u.s did it to iran there is no war on russian soil presently so uh, if you want to study in russia things everything is normal everything is fine you can still apply to your university they will give you admission it's just a political crisis and not an educational crisis so we must understand that the embassies are going to be closed for a while because of the confusion but even during the war the embassies are completely open so you might have your visa to come study because politics is different from governance i can most emphasize this the war is political governance must continue in the country the country must continue running except there is a very strong reason to declare a state of emergency even then you might still be given admission to study here all right so thanks a lot for watching today's video and uh, like i've said before please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like this video even if you don't like the video please just like the video and subscribe we will grow as a channel together we can I even become friends comment below if you want to study in Russia or Ukraine and uh, maybe you can even contact me on uh, Instagram I'm going to be putting my Instagram and Amarachi's Instagram and uh, all right so thanks a lot for watching subscribe